India, a land of vibrant culture and ancient wisdom, is adorned with architectural marvels that whisper tales of emperors and empires, gods and goddesses. Today we embark on a quest to unravel the hidden stories and fascinating facts behind some of India's most celebrated landmarks. Our journey begins in Agra, at the Monument of Eternal Love, the Taj Mahal. This ivory-white mausoleum, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is renowned for its breathtaking beauty and the poignant love story of Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal. Legend has it that hidden deep within the Taj Mahal's foundations are secret chambers, their entrances concealed from prying eyes. Adding to the Taj's mystique is the captivating phenomenon of its color-changing marble. Bathed in the golden rays of dawn, the Taj glows a soft pink, transforming into a dazzling white as the sun climbs higher. Our next destination takes us to the heart of Delhi, where the towering Qutub Minar stands tall, a majestic symbol of Delhi's glorious past. This soaring minaret, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has witnessed the rise and fall of empires. But the Qutub Minar complex holds another marvel, the enigmatic iron pillar. This unassuming pillar, over 1,600 years old, stands as a testament to the advanced metallurgical skills of ancient India. What makes this pillar truly extraordinary is its resistance to rust. Scientists attribute this to a unique protective film of misawite formed due to its high phosphorus content. Our journey now takes us to the pink city of Jaipur, where the Hawa Mahal, or the Palace of Winds, stands as an emblem of architectural ingenuity. This five-story structure, with its honeycomb-like facade and 953 intricately carved jarakas or windows, is a sight to behold. The Hawa Mahal was designed not as a palace for residents, but as a screened gallery for the royal ladies of the court to observe everyday life and processions in the city without being seen. This unique architectural concept reflects the social customs of the time and the importance of privacy within the royal household. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Hawa Mahal is its ingenious ventilation system. The numerous windows, strategically placed throughout the structure, create a venturi effect, drawing cool air from the courtyard and circulating it throughout the building. The Hawa Mahal, with its lack of a front entrance and its natural air conditioning, is a testament to the innovative spirit of Rajput architecture. Our spiritual journey takes us to Amritsar, the holy city of the Sikhs, where the Harmandir Sahib, also known as the Golden Temple, stands as a beacon of peace, equality and devotion. This shimmering edifice, its dome covered in gold leaf, is not just a place of worship, it's a symbol of unity, welcoming people from all walks of life. What makes the Golden Temple truly unique is its foundation, laid not by a Sikh guru, but by a Muslim Sufi saint, Mian Mir. This act of interfaith harmony set the tone for the temple's ethos of inclusivity, where people of all faiths, castes and creeds are welcomed with open arms. The Golden Temple's kitchen or langar is a testament to its spirit of service and equality. Here, volunteers prepare and serve thousands of free meals every day, embodying the Sikh principle of seva, selfless service to humanity. Our next stop takes us to the city of Pearls, Hyderabad, where the iconic Shamana stands tall, a symbol of the city's rich history and architectural grandeur. This majestic structure, with its four minarets soaring towards the sky, is more than just a monument. It's a testament to human resilience and the victory of hope over despair. Legend has it that the Shah Minar was built by Sultan Muhammad Kuli Kutla Shah to commemorate the eradication of a plague epidemic that had ravaged the city. The four minarets, according to folklore, represent the four directions from which the plague was believed to have been contained. Adding to the Shah Minar's mystique are tales of a secret tunnel connecting it to the Golconda Fort, located on the outskirts of the city. While the existence of this tunnel remains a subject of debate, it adds an air of intrigue and mystery to this historical landmark. Our journey now takes us to the bustling metropolis of Mumbai, where the Gateway of India stands tall, an iconic landmark that has witnessed the city's transformation from a colonial port to a vibrant financial hub. This basalt arch, facing the Arabian Sea, is more than just a tourist attraction. It's a historical marker, a symbol of India's journey towards independence. The Gateway of India was built to commemorate the visit of King George V and Queen Mary to India in 1911, marking a significant event in the British Raj. Ironically, 
It was through this very arch that the last British troops departed India in 1947, marking the end of colonial rule. The gateway of India's architectural style is a blend of Hindu and Muslim influences, reflecting India's diverse cultural heritage. The arch incorporates elements of Gujarati architecture, while the dome is reminiscent of Mughal design, showcasing a harmonious fusion of styles. Our next destination takes us to the coastal state of Odisha, where the Sun Temple at Konark stands as a testament to the architectural and astronomical prowess of ancient India. This UNESCO World Heritage Site dedicated to Surya, the sun god, is not just a temple, it's a celestial chariot frozen in time. The temple's most striking feature is its design, resembling a colossal chariot with 12 pairs of intricately carved wheels, drawn by seven horses, representing the seven days of the week. This design is not merely symbolic, it's a testament to the ancient Indians' understanding of astronomy and the sun's movement across the sky. Legend has it that the temple's main sanctum once housed a massive iron beam held aloft by magnets creating the illusion of the sun god's chariot floating in mid-air. While the iron beam is no longer present, the legend adds to the temple's mystique and highlights the scientific knowledge prevalent in ancient India. Our journey takes us to the royal city of Mysore in Karnataka, where the Mysore Palace stands as a dazzling testament to the grandeur and opulence of the Wodeya dynasty. This magnificent palace with its intricate carvings, stained glass windows and sprawling courtyards is a sight to behold, especially during the grand festival of Dusehra. During Dusehra, the palace is illuminated with over 100,000 light bulbs, transforming it into a magical spectacle of light and color. This tradition, started by the Wodeyars, continues to this day, attracting thousands of visitors who come to witness this breathtaking display. But behind the palace's grandeur lie tales of intrigue, ambition, and even the supernatural. Local folklore is rife with stories of hidden passages, secret chambers, and even a resident ghost said to be the spirit of a former queen. Our next stop takes us to the heart of Maharashtra, where the Ellora Caves stand as a testament to the artistic, religious, and architectural genius of ancient India. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, comprising 34 rock-cut monasteries, temples and chaityas, is a symphony in stone showcasing the harmonious coexistence of Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism. Among these caves, Cave 16, the Kailasa Temple, stands as an unparalleled marvel of rock-cut architecture. This monolithic structure, carved out of a single rock face, is the largest single monolithic rock excavation in the world a testament to the dedication, skill, and artistry of the Rashtrakuta artisans. What makes the Kailasa temple even more remarkable is its inverted construction technique. Unlike traditional construction methods, where structures are built from the ground up, the Kailasa temple was carved from the top down. And our final destination takes us back to the heart of Delhi, where the Lotus Temple stands as a modern architectural marvel a symbol of unity, peace, and spiritual awakening. This Baha'i house of worship, with its distinctive lotus flower-shaped design, is more than just a place of worship. It's a symbol of humanity's collective aspiration for a more harmonious world. The lotus flower, chosen for its symbolism of purity, enlightenment, and spiritual growth, is a recurring motif in many religions, making the lotus temple a universal symbol of faith and unity. Its nine doors, representing the nine major religions of the world, open onto a central hall symbolizing the oneness of humanity and the interconnectedness of all faiths. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Lotus Temple is its soundproof marble. The interior of the temple is designed to be a sanctuary of peace and tranquility, where the hustle and bustle of the outside world fade away, allowing visitors to connect with their inner selves and experience a sense of profound serenity. As we conclude our journey through India's architectural wonders, we are left with a sense of awe and wonder at the rich history, culture and traditions that have shaped this incredible nation. From the Taj Mahal's eternal love story to the Golden Temple's message of equality, from the Qutub Miner's scientific marvel to the Lotus Temple's call for unity, each landmark has left an unforgettable imprint on our hearts and minds. If you enjoyed this journey through India's hidden stories, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content.
Namaste.